I know Guilfoyle probably came in here and puked out a bunch of tech specs, three-fourths of which are total horse shit. Did you bring up the Iranian Revolution thing? Yeah, those words mean nothing. But here's the fact. I'm the only one of these clowns that can code in Java. And I write sleek, performant, low-overhead Scala code with higher-order functions that will run on anything. Period. End of sentence. So basically, I think whatever equity I get, it should reflect that I contribute more than Guilfoyle. Listen, we all love Big Head, but the truth is he's not as good of a coder as I am, not as good at system architecture as Guilfoyle, not as good at being a prick as you. No offense. He's a lightweight at everything. Brings nothing to the table. Him getting points would be a big fuck you to all of us. But he's a great guy. Great guy. But useless. Yeah, he is a great guy. Not like that Jared. Uh, at least we can all agree on that. And this is gonna sound super mean, but the other night he was sleeping, I was just staring at his face. All I could think was, he's utterly useless. Big Head is a man with zero purpose. <clears throat> oh, hi. Hi, Big Head. Hey. How's it going? It's super good right now. Um, I'm just gonna maybe like go for a bike ride real fast and clear my head. I'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of worried about him. You know, if he's gone, like really truly gone, in a way, that kind of solves your problem. I mean, like, if he's dead... Are you trying to say that Big Head might be dead? That, that doesn't help at all. How is that helping? I'm just saying that that's a possible thing that could have happened to him. It could happen to anybody. And in this case, at least something good came out of it. What's the good part? You don't have to have an awkward conversation. We got a whole hour left, people. So let's get those bro nations going. Donations are funny, right? I mean, why would anybody donate to something like bro and not a homeless shelter or schools? Cancer? That's still out there. Any of us could have it. You can donate if you want, but he's throwing away half the world's market. You know what bro means in Mandarin? It means asshole in Finnish. Bro means a baby's erection. In Urdu, bro is actually short for brochtavr, which means a dildo for a man. A man's dildo. Fecal eclipse. Loses something in translation. We don't have a word for it. They do. It's bro. Wait, why does it say sent from my iPhone at the bottom? You just sent this from your computer. It's so that I seem like I'm an out and about kind of person. I put that in the signature, and then in the body I'll write fun stuff like, I'm at the opening of a secret restaurant, or I'm watching Jaws at the pool of an old hotel, you know? I know Karen is out of my league, okay? She's practically not my species. I'm a guppy, and I'm trying to mate with a dolphin. You guys are bottom feeders. You're like those fish that swim into other fish's mouths and eat bacteria off their teeth. There's no such fish. You made that fish up. OK, it's an analogy. I'm not going to debate the existence of the literal fish with you, because it's not relevant. Well, good, because it doesn't exist. Oh, another text from Karen. In your hood, can I come over? IDK, too soon? Question mark. What's the issue? This is what you want. You know, it's, the place is so dirty right now. Probably another day is best for such activity. Um, should I tell Armad getting Ethiopian tapas? I don't see what the problem is here. She wants to come over and she acknowledges that it's too soon. You've basically done the deed, which for you is ejaculating in your own pants all over your leg and then apologizing profusely. This is your place? Yes. I know it's weird that a guy like me would live here, but honestly, this is just where I rest. Out there is where I live. Okay, how'd you get on our Wi-Fi? How did your phone know the password? Did it? Yeah, it connected immediately. It's an alphanumeric. Oh. Long password. Oh. Um. Karen? Ehrlich. Hey. Outed by Wi-Fi. You never called. I, uh, got super busy. Hey, we all do. So, did you ever find my earrings? I, I don't know. Should we, uh, check the old lost and found? Okay. He 
he didn't actually do anything wrong. He worked for Endframe, the pieces of shit that stole our algorithm. Yeah, so by the transitive property, he is therefore also a piece of shit. Well, uh, the pieces of shit fired him. So his piece of shit status is reversed. Okay, fine. So the transitive property may no longer apply, but the reflexive property states everything's equal to itself, so since he's a piece of shit, he's a piece of shit. So he's getting fired for no reason. And I kind of feel bad for the guy. He's probably pulling his hair out somewhere, wondering where he screwed up. But he didn't screw up, and he'll never know that for the rest of his life. I bet you're right. He probably is just ripping his hair out somewhere. I wish I could see that. Piece of shit. It's a piece of shit. Good. That's my little thing, and I'll, I'll hand you back to Dinesh now. He's a, he's a man with a plan and the uh, pretty cool tan. <laughs> it's not it's a tan. Thing. Yeah. No, I know. Uh, sorry. This is how I was born. Hey, um, Elizabeth. Hi. Um, before you go, I just wanted to say that I thought your last commit was very impressive. Oh, thank you. Just call it like I see it. Bye-bye, Dinesh. Bye, Elizabeth. <laughs> you don't actually think she was flirting, do you? She works here. She's paid to interact with you. Just like that bartender that Richard thought he was flirting with. Uh, actually, she's not a bartender. And for your information, we've been trading texts, and uh, we're going for drinks later, so. Great. If you go to the bar she works at, you can probably drink for free. Pakistani Denzel. I mean, I don't see it, but everybody else does, so. Mm, maybe they should call him American Dinesh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Only if you stop first. <laughs> What's your end game here? Her and I have, like, a real connection. She's so, like, nice, and she's so down to earth that it's like she has no idea how attractive she is. She could be hideous. Well, I can't imagine that would matter to Dinesh one iota. Right, because she's nice and very talented and has a great laugh, and with any luck, she's not a dog face. Uh, Dinesh, I can't see you. It's all black. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't give the camera permission to access the video chat. Hold on. Boom. Yes. I can see you now. It's me, Pakistani Denzel. Yes, the Denzel who is from Pakistan. This video quality is great, right? It's, it's very impressive. Um, I will have to tell my boyfriend all about it. Either she froze time, met and married the man of her dreams, unfroze time and hop back on to vid chat with you or you're the dog face what the fuck is going on richard found a girl you have a girlfriend jared is getting laid with a girl hi mom how's it going man these bay area rents huh hi af How's a guy supposed to live by himself or lady by herself? Especially on an everyman quarter salary, you feel me? Are you offering us a cost of living raise? Nope, not at all. Even better. If one of you dudes is strapped for cash, do you a solid, move in, split the rent fitty fitty, or 40 city, depending on square footage of bedrooms. Since I became CEO, our user growth, undeniable. Our retention, so sticky it's pornographic and we're more mission focused than ever in providing the best video chat the world has ever seen wow well this seems really promising gentlemen you don't want to be known around here as the guy who fucked this up okay so when you hip your bosses to our numbers and they get visible hard-ons have them move quickly i First, all our ex-employees, Gleb, Sanjay, Elizabeth, you. Gleb? What, you're comparing me to Gleb? When we agreed to split the company, we said that you could take the algorithm for your video chat and I could use the data flowing through the system to optimize the algorithm for my thing. We had a deal. We had an agreement, not technically a deal. What the fuck, Dinesh? I'm sorry, I really am. But the answer is no. Okay. Well, suck a dick. I'm sorry, what did you say? Nice blazer. Thank you. Where'd you get it? Doesn't matter. I just want to know 
where I can get one so I can look like a total fucking douchebag. Twenty-one billion dollars? I mean, how is that even fucking possible? I mean, I knew Dinesh was going to fuck this all up, but honestly, this couldn't get any better. Oh, he just sort of became ill on himself. I was wrong. This just got better. Every sound is sixteen thousand dollars. Fuck! All right, all right. Don't think about that. Just think about how to solve this massive, massive problem. Quickly. Uh, quick as you can. But we can't stay online. We're just racking up more fines. Well, technically, this is a corporation. So whatever they fine you, they'll really only be able to collect what the company's worth, which at this point is basically nothing. That's right. I'm just the CEO. Well, when you lied to me about adding terms of service, it could be argued you violated your fiduciary duty to the company, rendering you personally liable. I could be personally liable for $21 billion. Yeah, most likely. I'm gonna throw up again. I'm gonna watch this. Well, I was CEO for 11 days. And in that time, I violated the rights of 50,000 little girls, exposed them to sexual predators, and racked up fines the size of a small nation's GDP. Yeah, I threw up in my pants. What? It's Gavin Pelson. It's Gavin fucking Pelson. Hey, Gavin Pelson. What's up? Oh my God, We're crushing it all the time. I'm in a bathtub. Yeah, of course, I'd love to. Bye. He wants to meet me at Josephina's tonight. This is not a negotiation. If you fight me, I will win, and I will fuck you in the tech business forever. No one will hire you. I'm taking Piper Chat. By 8 a.m. tomorrow, you will hand over to Huli all your data and systems. All your users will be converted to Huli Chat users. It will be like Piper Chat never existed. And what you get out of it is the chance to walk away and try and get another job in this town. You have five seconds to decide. Five, four. Okay. Would you care for some wine or a cocktail tonight? Uh, just water, please. Just water, please. I love water. I do. Oceans, rivers, lakes. When does a pond become a lake? I wonder if it's depth. What are those waters? I felt like we ordered waters a while ago. It's strange. Did you change the locks? Because the keys were working last night when I went for my date because I haven't come back to the house since my date, so. I did sex on her. Good. Cool, yeah, that's great. Nice, man, who is she? Um, her name is Mia, and she is a Mia Zing. Um, she hates Guilfoyle almost as much as I do, so. Hey, look, it's Osama bin fucking. I thought you were staying at Mia's tonight. I was going to, but alas, I had some intestinal distress, so I couldn't stay, which really sucks because she's so great, which really is horrible because it's so hard to be away from her because she's so great. It's gonna continue. I have no diarrhea. I lied. I am so fucked. This girl is gonna kill me or get me killed. It seems like the longer you wait, the, the worse it's gonna get. I'm with Jared. You should wait. I have to end it right now. First thing Monday. Take the cuffs What is the meaning of this? Dinesh, they're arresting me. What? Step back, sir. Good people of the FBI, I don't know what sorts of things you were told or who told them to you. We may never know. But I can assure you that this young woman is... <laughs> I'm out! Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> out of what exactly? My relationship. The wedding got raided. The FBI got an anonymous tip about Mia's hacking exploits. Can you believe that? I'm just my luck. I'm home free. You ratted your girlfriend out to the FBI because you're too big of a pussy to break up with her? I'll never tell, but yes. Yes, I did. The FBI lady hit me in the face, so Mia's never going to suspect me. All right. 
what is two thumbs, zero dick pics, and just quit Periscope. What the fuck is that? The biggest dick pic of all. See you later. No, bikes still have to follow traffic laws. That's not fair. All right, you want to get insane? Let's get insane. Something's wrong with your frunk. It's all frucked up.